I came to China till now 204 times. Now I have many friends, many relationships, many reasons for come here. The destiny gave me, gave me this uh, uh, opportunity through China. You, you, you study English in the school? Yes. Yes? So you know to speak English? Ah, okay. From where are you? Nisi Beijing? No. No. From where? Uh, from Dongwan. Dongwan? Uh. Where is Dongwan? Um. Which province of China? Ah, uh, Guangdong. Italian, but the Chinese friends call me Roma. At uh, 15 years, I had the chance to buy one very interesting book. There was the true story of AQ from Lucin, from Sao Xin. I read this book with big interest and I decided to study for uh, become a journalist. So, like a journalist, I could come to China according to my idea at that moment. And I did. So I studied uh, the history of China. I did uh, deep researches and, uh, and uh, I read many historical books about this, but with difficult, because I understood that uh, in the Western countries, we wrote one fake story about China. So I devoted uh, my, 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 my life, uh, I said, to study China, to understand, and to be like Marco Polo, that he went to China for 70 years. I said, I want, like a journalist, to inform, to give correct, correct news to uh, the Westerners. For this reason, I tried to come to China. I arrived here the first time in uh, April 20. Eight evening of the year 1976. So, Mao Zedong was still alive. With this camera, with this camera, you see, very simple, I took more than 35,000 photos in my four years in China. I have one photo taken by the window of the Happy Infantry in Shanghai in 1979. That is the Bund, the Huangpu River, the Pudong. But Pudong is nothing. It's nothing. It's like a countryside. If you look today, just Pudong is the symbol of new China, of Shanghai. But Shanghai today, in 2018, is Pudong especially, with the big building, the tower, the colors in the evening. So, this is one photo very interesting because you see, it's nothing. So, is also the, we can witness uh, what's happened in 40 years in China. This, you compare my photo in 1979 and one photo or postcard of today. You can't think it's the same country, really. We are a big revolution. I can't think in that two first years that Deng uh, Xiaoping would come to the power again and uh, because it's 78, the opening of the China reform, and they launched this uh, reform, the four modernization, and uh, to make the country strong within the year 2000. No, it means only 20 years to make China very strong, like one of the first countries. But that's your opinion, he has a long view. It means he understood the potential of the Chinese people. Now is China that wants to do the new Silk Road to go to West. And this is the President Xi Jinping idea. 
I think it's very good, correct. We must uh, recognize that is uh, through the good policy of so, the Communist Party that China is open and uh, is uh, better than any any other time. And uh, we have uh, many important facilities for the people that we haven't in the Western countries. Important that China can uprise again. I didn't believe exactly in 1978 that this was possible. But after a few years, when I saw how was the big revolution in the economy, I understood that it was possible to do. This was the Chinese dream.